Hello, today we will be calculating the yield to maturity and the yearly payment on a fixed payment loan using a financial calculator. I will be using the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus for this. So the question reads, you recently purchased a house and took a loan for $300,000. The bank is charging you an interest rate of 4% annually which you intend to pay off in 20 years. What is the yearly payment you must make to the bank? So in this case, we have the present value of the loan, which is $300,000. We have an interest rate of 4% per annum, which is the annual interest rate. We also have a time period, N, which is 20 years, by which we intend to pay off the loan. And at the end of 20 years, we expect our future value to be zero because we repaid the entire loan. So we need to find out what the yearly payment must be, which we need to make to the bank, or the PMT. So in this cases, while using the BA2+, Plus, we're going to use the white set of keys which is the third row from the top. N, which is the number of time periods, in this case, 20 years. The I by Y, which is the annual interest rate of 4%. The PV, or the present value, which is the initial loan amount of 300,000. And FV, or the future value of zero, because at the end of 20 years, we intend to be left with no loans, we need to calculate or compute the PMT. So we switch on the calculator, after which we are going to make sure we remove any stored data. For this, we'd be pressing the second FV, second clear. I'm going to start putting in or plugging in my data from left to right. It's not compulsory to do that, but it just makes it easier. So I have N equal to 20. So I'm going to put in 20 and then hit N, essentially setting N equal to 20. After which I have an interest rate of 4%. So I have four then I hit my I by Y, setting my interest rate per year of 4. Remember, it's just 4, not 4% 4 or 0 0.04. My PV or the present value is 300,000. So I'm going to put in a 300,000 and then hit my PV, essentially setting the PV of 300,000. I have my future value as zero. So I'm going to put in zero, then my future value, setting in future value of zero. I do have a PV and an FV in this case. The rule essentially states that one of the two must be negative, but because the future value is zero, a minus zero is also equal to a plus zero. So need to compute the annual payment which I need to make. So this is a regular payment I will be making for the next 20 years. So essentially it is an annuity or a payment which I need to compute. So hit compute, and then a payment there, which gives me an annual payment of minus 22074.525. So I need to make a payment of 22,074.525 every year for the next 20 years to make sure that I can repay the loan of 300,000 which I took at an interest rate of 4% annually.